Hey, um, Gary, I need your help. Uh, the chats aren't working. You say music soft. How's it going, guys? Hey, Krish. There's some problem with the restream. Uh, my chats are missing. I'm just trying to get that back. Nope, not that. You mean it's not in my yet? No, it's not yet. Yeah, and then uh, open restream on the browser. On the browser? Yeah. Click on the three dots. Sorry? Click on the three dots. This one. No, there's a button. So I should chat here rather. You can take that tab out and you have it here. What do you mean take the tab? I don't, I don't know how to put it back in OBS right now. Okay, cool. Okay guys, it seems like the chat is fixed, sort of. Uh, let's see if it's working. I think it's working. Cool. Seems like it's connected and all this beautiful stuff. Uh, so today we are carrying on with our macro keyboard. Yeah, so the chat is working. Beautiful. Um, so as you guys know, we were f lucky enough. I know some of you aren't very happy about it. But we can use LTM now. So I want to start incorporating LTM in our, in our videos and channel and stuff. That does not mean we will not do KiCad tutorials. We are still doing KiCad tutorials. Um, but I just want to introduce LTM to you guys as well. Because we've got many different people on this channel, right? So there's people who want to use it for companies. There's people who want to use it for hobbies. So we want to help everyone with that. Um, so, But as always, if you guys have questions about anything, let, just let us know and we'll make videos about it. Uh, as always, let me know about sound, music, all that fun stuff. Uh, cool. So what I actually just want to do is I want to import our old projects. Uh, so Altium allows you to import a KiCad project to Altium with extensions and updates. So you can see KiCad importer, uh, but you had to install it first. Uh, I'm going to share, as you guys know, we've got a link to Altium, so you can choose and go your free trial, or if you're a student, you can get six months. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So I just want to import, import wizard. How's everyone doing? Hello. Uh, you can see keycat design files. Uh, add. Where did we save it? You must always be so careful about showing stuff on the internet and whatnot. Uh, testing, testing, one, two, three. I'm getting the messages, guys. Um, Chris, it's not a, yeah, so they are sponsoring me with a license for Altium. So they just asked me, yeah, they'll give them, they'll give me a, a license for Altium and I can make tutorials and videos and things like that. And then they gave me that link for, for you guys to get free trials. Um, but I honestly think that link is the same as you would get when you go on the Altium website. Nothing special. Um, but yeah, so we can make some videos with Altium. Um, Altim is my favorite, um, but I'm biased. I've used Altim for about five years and then I haven't used it for like the last year and a half when I changed jobs. Um, so I'm happy with Altim. I know there's a lot of, I've got a lot of messages on Instagram and YouTube and uh, people aren't too happy with me because they thought I'm going away from KiCad, but I'm not. I'm just, I'm just adding another uh, software to the family. Mm. 
So as you can see here, we've got our micro key, keypad, micro keypad macro. Uh, so we take the project and then Altium will just import it, I think. I did make some changes to this design since we've been on. Well, not changes, just change the format. I'll show what I mean. I don't want to use keycap colors on this Altium. <laughs> it depends what the purpose is for the license, right? So I can't use it for commercial use, it's just for um, for helping. I don't know what this is. Let's see what happens. But yeah, Krish, go for it. Make a channel. See where it takes you. Uh, How cool is that, eh? I should actually check if I can take LTM and take it to KiCad. So we do both. It's going to pop up with a lot of errors and stuff. So it's of course not going to do a perfect job, but as a job, good enough. Ah, damn it. This is not the latest one. That's what happens when you work on two PCs. Where's my flash? Hey guys, I'll be back in like five, five minutes. Uh, I just want to get... I just want to get the latest files. You can see now, instead of pushing Alt 3, you push just push 3. So it's the same, right? All the CAD programs are pretty much the same. So for Altium to change, you can go 1, 2, 3. So 2 and 3 goes. But in Altium, the thickness is not always the same or not always correct. You're going to have to do a stack layer of the board. Um, let's get used to the buttons again. So you can see it's a bit thin, but we'll fix that. Sorry guys, I'll be back in like five minutes. I just have to fetch the final program. Uh, cool. I'll leave it like this, be back. Now to find a USB port. Oh, good times. As you can see, this is a high quality YouTube channel. This organized everything. Uh, cool. Let's try this now. I must actually just push it to GitHub. Uh, yeah, I saw they gave them a hiding. Cody played quite well. AB got a duck. Um, projects, projects. T 
just copying the files over. Let's try again. File import was it? See, I've got my mic, my sound, and everything. Uh, so I think it's this. It's quite easy. Just next, 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 and see what happens. It even tries to keep the keycat thing. Um, cool. So how's your exams going, Krish? Everything still going well? Let's see that work. Yeah, so that works. So what I did, um, what I'm start, gonna start doing is, I'm making a lot of projects where we're using the same uh, circuits quite regularly. So in KiCad, I made a, a sheet. So I'm gonna close this. So you can see I'm starting to make a top level. So I've got my my cherries, uh, I've got my microphone pickup, my STM. So I'm going to start making sheets. Um, so that means, what that actually just means is next time if I want to use a nine cherry in a different project, I can just take this and take it over. So you can see each one is their own type of schematic. Uh, so, but I want to carry on with this today because I'm going to probably have to redo some stuff to make it be able to use an Altium. So this is the circuit I'm going to use to try to pick up um, voice when you're playing games and you want to be notified when someone's talking to you and you've got the headphones on, it's noise cancelling and then I'm going to use something like this. So it's just a, a amplifier that will amplify the microphone, pick up and then output and we'll read it from the Arduino pin. Uh, if there's any questions, please just let me know. So basically we just have a resistor to give power to the microphone but because this power is DC, we don't want the DC signal to go to my op amp. So I put a capacitor in series. And as we know, the capacitor stops the DC going. Only AC can to go through the capacitor. We've got this resistor just to play with the volume, would I say. Uh, capacitor here is for the gain. So if you look at the data sheet, you can make a certain capacitor, 2200 gain. And then we just have a bypass to make sure there's no issue with the stability. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, so these are called um, ports. Place port. So ports. So ports are for the. I should actually make it ports. I took it from the keycap. So port is basically just going from sheet to sheet. So if you see this, these are ports. So button one, button two, button three. So I take the schematic to the outside world and then I use uh, net labels for the inside. So it's like programming, we have local and uh, glo local and global variables, it's the same thing. So that's what we're going to start doing. So I'm going to focus on this today, finish this circuit. And then maybe we should start making small parts of it to test as we go. Uh, because we're going to add a lot of parts to it, right? That was the plan. So if we can test the circuit by circuit. So I ordered these components. I will put in a breadboard to make sure it actually works before we order. Uh, but yeah, let's get started making this Altium worthy. Uh, what I like about Altium when it comes to components, uh, I could never use this as a, at, the, at my company, or not my company, the place I was working at, because when a company makes uh, PCBs, they normally control their own library. So the way they make footprints, the way they set it up in a in a database is quite controlled. So you never get to use just already made footprints. It's always a very controlled situation, which is understandable. Um, so we use the 
data structure from uh, Nexus. So yeah, so but now I can use it as a hobby person. So I can just go to manufacturing part search, which is quite cool. Uh, why is nothing popping up? Uh, let's just spin this. So you can see I can actually go, I've got an LM386. So there it is, uh, data sheets, um, the symbol, the footprint, um, where you can order it, it's very cool. How much it costs. So everything's quite online, ready to use. So I'm just gonna take this. Looks a bit different, right? Guys, if there's any questions, just shout, eh? I know it's a new program. Hey, y Yazir, how's it going? Uh, so, you see, it's the same as KiCad. We've got our U, we've got everything. You can also tools, annotation, same thing we did with KiCad. So, once you know the, the just the terminology of PCB design, you can actually use any program. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like to you work in millimeters, not moles. In LTM, you can push on the schematic, push Q, and that should be able to change it as well. Cool. I'll just look through stuff. Yeah, you see the pin count, it's quite, the uh, parameters are quite nicely set out. Uh, there should be a data sheet somewhere. Yeah, data sheet URL. Cool, so let's. Let's take this circuit and make it into an Altium circuit. Let's see if we've got a, so you can push P for place. So Altium always works with P for place. And it's place part, place board, place whatever. So let's place a part. Manufacturing search. So let's just look for a mic. I just want the symbol to answer you. Ah. Microphone. I've never used the trace before. Um, How's it compared to KiCad? Uh, let's go to the default. Go back to the base part. So you can see malicious. So key, key, keypad macro is a library I created. Uh, so let's just go to the devices. Mark. So, you know, R is not rotate, space pass rotate. It's going to take me a while to get used to all the joys of it again. Uh, cool. So, we've got a mic goes to ground. So, place wire. So, it's the same as KiCad. KiCad is just W without the place. Place power, I think. Oh. And it's quite nice because every time you click on it, the settings or the properties always pops up. So. What are you busy making, uh, Yazer? Resistor. Oh no, six oh three. This is it. Uh, 
There we go, 603. Ah, I keep pushing R. <laughs> Wire. So P is your friend in Altium. Always press P. P, 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 P. Hey, Emma. Uh, capacitor. And also 0603. They don't have 0603 capacitors. You can see the footprint down here somewhere. Uh, package preference C1201. This is my positive 
positive current. Polarized capacitor. How do I make it move without? It's ugly way, it looks pretty ugly, but let's... So this is my gain, so changing this value of the capacitor will change the value between 20 and 20, 200 gain. So if I've got a 1 volt signal input, I'll have a 20 volt or 200 volt signal output. Mm, VSS. Make some space. I have to make my voltages go up, so we have the bypass. Looks very ugly. And Altium shows connections by dots. So if there's no dot here, that doesn't mean it's not connected, but somewhere you can make it show like a little jump, like it jumps over the wire. Uh, let's see if we can see it here. Uh, convert cross junctions. Just looking for break wire. Millimeters, I like millimeters. Yeah, I think it's display crossovers. So if you display crossovers, I think it's that. Yeah, that's quite nice. Now you can see that it's not connected to each other. Ooh. It's a bypass, so let's take this. Delete this for now. Cool. So we've got a microphone that's an input. So the micro will give a sine wave. As you speak, it will be, yeah, it's a sine wave frequency. Um, I wonder if we can put image there. So 
So the microphone needs power, so we, <coughs> sorry. We're gonna power it. We've got a capacitor that's blocking all the DC to come through, so only the AC signal will come in. We'll have a gain, and the gain will go to an Arduino. So we can say, when we hear something, make some magic happen. So this is my output. I need to make this prettier, it's a very ugly circuit, but anyway. Ah, keep pushing R. R, I'm gonna sound like a pirate soon. Um, And then we put a capacity here, because we don't want a DC offset. Guys, as always, if I say a term that you have not heard of yet, like DC offset or things like that, just let me know and I'll try to explain it. If I don't know it, I'll Google it. So let's look for a connector. Ah, they've got connectors here. Yeah. So it's miscellaneous device, miscellaneous connectors. Uh, what connectors do they have? I just want a normal 2.54 connector, a header pin. Two pin, two pin. Hey, Magpie. I'll just use this for now. How are you doing, Magpie? Got everything covered, I think. So, as Kika has the same, we've got tools, annotation, annotate schematic. You can see the way you want to annotate it. Uh, update. Now you'll see all the numbers or not. It's been a while. Force annotate, uh, annotate schematic quietly. I like that one. Boom. Done. So as I mentioned, I want to make my schematic such a way that I can use it for future <laughs> content. So I'm going to use ports. Place. So if you push P, you can always see underneath if something's underlined, it's the next button. So place port, place net label, things like that. So
So on the schematic, there is some um, schematic will always have inputs and outputs. So if I want uh, things that's not controlled by this schematic, is things like my VCC, my ground, and my output. My output needs to go somewhere. So when I just quickly look at it, there's three three aspects that I need to take out of this sheet into the next sheet. If that makes sense. So do VCC, make it an input. I actually think I can just use it without this. I don't think I need to do what I'm doing now. I think it's redundant, but anyway. Hey Maverick, how are you doing? Yeah, you see now it's complaining because I'm useless. useless. Honest stop, okay, not important, input. Because both are inputs now. I think I can do it like this. Because the name is the same, so I'm making it a global variable. No. <laughs> symbol. Which one do you want me to use? I did use earth here. Yeah. No, but it's power ground, right? Single ground. I must use this one rather. That's how I, that's how I, we know the earth symbol, not like this. Is it different? Groza, uh, that is not in my plan, no? <laughs> I know nothing about Echo, uh, that stuff. I've always known this symbol as ground, and the other one is Earth. Maybe countries are different. this yeah this is my earth <laughs> throwing out the book here Just press net level. Okay, cool. That's good to know. I will change it so we can use the IEEE standards. Can I not do it like this? What are you complaining about? 
design Wait, I ran my rule checks again. Output. Can I do it like this? Let's see what happens. So now I've got this circuit with my two inputs, my one output. So I go here and I say play sheet, I think. So I'm going to delete that. Place sheet entry, uh, but I first need to give clinker to something. So yeah, so there I just go on the right hand side here and I link it to the sheet. So now if I place my sheet entry, I should pop up no. It's a bit different. I'm doing something wrong. It's been two years. I have to compile it first. CC. CC was compiled, right? Oh, that was on the other thing. Tools. Great sheet from great sheet so from sheet. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, there goes the lead. So if you go design, create sheet symbol from sheet, and then we can choose one. And then you can see the three stuff we designed, the VCC ground. So let's make it a bit smaller. So basically, you can now get into it. So I can open it and I go to it. So on the top level, I can import my BCC ground and then I'll output my signal that I want to process to my microcontroller. So that's quite handy. So in future, if I've got another project that wants to use a sound imitator, I can just use that circuit, the schematic, and just use it in my next project. So it goes for the ESP32. I've done the schematic like 100 times. So I never did this. I should have done it. And delete all this. Now these are I expanders. Come on. So we've got a V bus three volts three. We can change the edges. So now we can say place wire.
So that means my three balls will go in, I will go into my sheet here, and then I'll go in my VCC into this VCC and do its magic. Hey, emulator. So as you can see, and also as I deleted that other two green sheets there, you can see here that only my one schematic is part of the top schematic. So you can see on the left hand side here, uh, how it breaks it up. I'm good on yourself. What are you up to? Um, I don't like the size of this. Ugly, 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 ugly. Let's just keep the same size. And let's keep to no uh, signal. Working? Even on Sunday? What you, where do you work? What's... Where are you being slave, slave driven to? 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Is it because of Corona or you just love your job a lot? Oh wow, so... <laughs> to be honest, Magpa, I forgot about that. Uh, it's been a while. That's true. So, yeah, like Magpa said, you can right click, find some objects, and then you can uh, use it as something filter on the left hand side here, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we can still do. Um, you can write some code, and then you can find specific stuff and change stuff. and add rules to certain uh, wires and oh, there's so much um, but emulate if you're working for yourself that's awesome man that's like your input is then equal to your output eh? what does the companies do if I might ask I'm a nosy person I need to fix it. Place power. That's awesome. Emulator, where are you from again? Is it Africa or not? I can't remember, to be honest with you. Sorry. <laughs> Don't show me the Uber. Yeah, I was saying so. Yeah, but how do you find? Don't you find yourself being stretched a bit thin, focusing on so many different aspects? I struggle with that. Like when I start doing a lot of different things, I feel like I do everything but half off, and I don't finish everything that I want to. My time management is very bad, so...
Digidude, when are you planning to launch in the Netherlands? It's a long name, a bit too long, but I'll change it. I just want to focus on what's the purpose. Oh, nice, man. Good luck. Sounds exciting. So your time management is very good. You should teach me. I'll be busy with one thing and the next minute I see I do something else. A box, can we make a box? Can we make a box? Text frame, yes. I sent it back, I assume. Nope. It's a text box. I just want lines, drawing tools, rectangle. Center back, center back. Where is your center back? Nope. KML, what's KML? <laughs> yeah, I've got a, well, I started doing a calendar thing where I just write down what my goals are for the day. But yeah, uh, that's about it. Well done to you, man. Well done to you. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Size looks different, anyway. Okay, so we've got that. I actually just wanna... So we've got this. Um, we spoke about last time what we all want, how it's gonna look, so let's... Take it section by section. So to get to a PCB, we go same as tool, update, macro PCB. Uh, yeah, create it, mailing stuff, update. So ECO is engineering, change order. And there you'll see it's gonna remove my stuff that's not linked. We'll add my capacitor, my connector, add the nets, uh, it add rooms, I don't like rooms, I should actually disable it. <laughs> yeah, I must like Magpie. Uh, <laughs> like I do this for fun, right? So, I don't know, once it starts becoming a... a it's a mission, I don't know how to say it. Oh, these are wrong capacitors, damn it. Okay, let's see if I can remember some stuff. Emulator, you should come to the Netherlands because they also they also like doing that. So if you ask someone if they want to come over for a barbecue or braai next weekend, then they'll say no. They, they got plans until uh, 2024 or something. So it's, they're also very planned like you. 
That's efficient, eh? Efficient. Mm. Can I do something? I just want to change the footprint. Uh, I've got a feeling I might have to create my own. Well, we've got the pass search, right? So let's do that. So I can go change, rightly change part, I think. Oh, we can start doing variants as well. That'll be nice. That'll be nice. It picks it up. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Emilator, but, but, but what if you so focus in one direction? and something pops up in the other direction that's actually even better for you and you might be blinded for that, if you know what I'm trying to say so you set, so set in one direction um, you miss all the opportunities around you that's, I don't know, it's a catch-22 <laughs> no, I was over exaggerating, it's not really 2024 but I remember we tried to make a plan with some six, six of us at my company to just have a get-together for team building and stuff and they've got a website called um, Pick My Date. So everyone goes on it to choose a date. And the only time all six of us were together was seven months from the date. It was ridiculous. It was funny. Yeah, it's a balancing act. Look at COVID. No one would have planned for that and it just made havoc in some places. Ah, but each to their own, man. As long as you're happy. That's what it's about. Just be happy. Be a happy chappy. Um, okay, I want to get some... My parts, my parts, my parts. Where's my parts search? Yeah. How nice is this best components? This is a small O2, one is small, I want O603s. Can I falter? Currency, give me the currency. Business online business emulator, or I assume so. If you can do it, uh, I think probably 603. What's this? 0805. It's nice to use these components, then I can just use, um, then we do the bomb, they're already real components and all that fun stuff. It's big. Oh, but I must actually choose the correct values, eh? And you take care. Maybe use a quarter watt. That sounds good. 
But have you got a lot of support from South Africa with this time or not really as a company? Did they support the people? Quarter white man. I don't really watch him so. So what's happening the whole time that's what I'm clicking here is when I click on uh, this, it opens Octopart. So if you don't know Octopart, Octopart is just a website where you can search a part number and it'll show you which com company has it, uh, the stock they have and the price. It's quite nice. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. And the 500 billion that's just gone. Did they really? I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, it's a, it's a sad state of affairs. Okay, I'm not going to look for the perfect resistance. I'll just carry on for now. I'm going to put on a PCB, show you guys our Altium roots. I'm going to try to balance the boring stuff so we don't do too much boring stuff like all this. Um, guys, and if there's tutorials you want us to do on KeyCAD or LTM, please let us know. Thanks for stopping by, Mac, but I'm quite excited about it. Uh, you're going to help me a lot, just so you know. <laughs> I forgot a lot about it. It's been two years. But thanks for popping by. I appreciate it. Have a good day. <laughs> I will. Thanks, man. It's, it's more to refresh the memory because Altium is so much to do. So to save time and everything. But I will definitely ask. Thanks a lot. Uh, 1K. 603, yes. I must use 10K as well. Oh yeah, that's awesome news, eh? Crazy. Crazy. How quick time goes, eh? Do you think we're at that age already to have kids and stuff? Scary. No, that's very exciting. <laughs> 14 <laughs> yeah I don't know man just I'm getting at that age how old are you now emulator if I might ask oh okay so yeah but that's cool though because then yeah if you Young, you've got the energy and everything. It's a, uh, I don't know, man. That's quite impressive. If you're running so many companies with a child as well, that age. That's very impressive. I must come to you for help. Because that's my biggest thing, man. Having a kid and then I'm so busy with my hobbies and stuff. You always think you won't have time for anything. Ah, oh, shit, okay. Mm. I want to just make it to components that we have. Yeah, that's what everyone tells me.
Are you guys in the same province or different provinces? Okay, cool. Let me focus. You see, I get distracted so easily. Why is this not working? Drag it. There we go. So I just want to make sure I use real components. So when I update to the PCB, everything's nice. Everything's fine. Life is good. Emily, to what province you again? Where are you from again in South Africa? In South Africa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds that sounds like a quite a story. Quite a story. A story. Come on, man, drag. Go, come, come, you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Sounds hectic, man. Sounds hectic. Was the positive again? Yeah, I thought so. Twenty seven November soon, though, around the corner. What am I doing? Silly, silly, silly. Just keep going on, eh? Just, yo, it's a tough one. Tough one. Wow. Is it taking long because of COVID or what's the reason? Uh, tools, animate, annotate, annotate, annotate. So when you annotate 
schematic quietly it will just fill in the designators that is not filled in so see it will just do and leave the ones that is filled in so now we basically have nice connectors uh, the output see this is wrong we should not do this because the output I just want as a signal I don't want as a connector so we can then do this if that makes sense CC does compile I think yes then that gives you a lot of errors but we don't have to worry about that now yeah, that's complaining about the LEDs. It's fine. Yeah, I see now how that's. So if you push CC, it will compile your schematic to save this in errors. And as you of course, there will be errors. And if you double click, it will highlight where the error is. So, so I cannot find the footprint. So I've got a capacitor that does no footprint associated to it. Uh, so what is I'm complaining about this? Uh, local level and then I've got an unconnected power port ground okay so once it's connected where do you want it to connect it I don't know why I can't do this. So I'm going to input, what does it complain about? Has been reduced to a local level of presence of a port. if I should change change his name if I change it to VSS is it yeah okay so it can't be the same name it seems so let's change it to VS oh yeah or we change this to the what will VCC be here uh, right VCC will be my 3.3 .3 volts so let's do that. Let's make it this 3.3 .3 volts. Hope everyone understands what I'm trying to do. I can ask complaints on matching the sheet entry. My sheet entry is this. So if I right click here and update. You can see now VCC 3v3 uh, close. But we'll, I'm going to just redo it. It's easier. Ah, you see, man. I made it back to VCC. Thanks, Emanote. Thanks for stopping by, man. And good luck with all your things. Let me know where the app and stuff is ready. I'll definitely have a look at it. Have a great Sunday. sheet
And then on the right hand side you can choose which one you want to do. Uh, it's probably first CC it. Compile. So CC is for compiling. And now it should be fine. No. What's it complaining about? Yeah, it's complaining that I'm connecting to a power. That shouldn't matter, man. I should be able to... Ah, there we go. So I can add it. Cool thing about Altium as well is if I go left to right, you can see I can highlight like this. It only highlights what's inside the square. But if I go right to left, it will highlight everything that the line touches. So as you can see like that, um, this will only take, see, so only what's inside the box. So only my three is inside the box, but this way it highlights everything. Just a nice to know um, trick. Mm, cool. So I've got a controller. Let's see now. I'm going to design update. So these are links that. Um, links your schematic and your your pcb so r18 r18 so i removed some of the th um, footprints of that's already on the pcb so if we go back to the pcb so if i remove all this i should not have a linking problem because there's nothing to link Yeah, I want to add it now. Don't know what that is. So I'm not trying to match manually. Yeah, so VCC becomes my ground. So we'll tell you we'll add this. We'll I'll add net names. Add uh, rooms. Undo rooms. There we go. Potentiometer. Let's see if we can get a nice potentiometer. Ah, oh, man, I don't want that. Pot, maybe just say pot. I 
Are these all digital potentiometers? Yeah. I want, don't want a digital one. Assis is not a passive component. There we go. I need a small one though. Maybe one that we can change with the screwdriver. Where's the small one? I guess I can just Google one. I can't believe it. Can't believe there's no small ones. No small ones with a screwdriver top. Let's Google it. Something like this. Trump part. Maybe that's a better search. Thanks. Andrew. Here is our press. the top facing one
I'm clicking on them and seeing how the stock levels are, so we don't use ones that are not commonly used. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Ah, uh, no footprint, damn it. What's going on here? C5, C5, what's the problem? Yeah, so? Can only have one pin, what's the issue? When you want to ignore an uh, <laughs> error in LTM, you can actually just paste a no, uh, generic no ERC, <laughs> and then we'll stop complaining. But only do that if you know it's really not an issue. Don't just put that stuff there. Cool. Because I think sometimes they just complain for no reason. Now I can see it's quite um, the green is errors when there's errors. So Altium has a thing called rooms, and it's this. I uh, just want to get the room for. So you can create rooms where you have to actually build your. Um, BCB routing inside of this little room. Um, it's actually mostly used for if you want to copy and paste a lot of circuits. Then I can create the circuit in this little room and I can copy and paste the room all over the circuit. I don't use it quite often. I don't like rooms. I just delete it. Uh, tools, preference. Uh, some of there should be rooms. General rooms, 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 rooms. Mm. System. No, it must be PCP editor.
there. Room. I don't think it's that though. I wonder, I'll oh, disable it later. So we've got our little circuit now for, let's make it, uh, right click, uh, open a new window. Ah, oh, nice. So now we can have it next to each other. So you can see both. Uh, so now we're just going to go through it. So there's my mic. So in KeyCAD, we used to be able to click and then it shows up here. You can do that the same, but you just have to say uh, probe, I think. Yeah, and then it does like that. That's quite strange. You can have active probing, I think. Um, tools. Yeah, so I think that's it or not yes so if i click on it i should highlight it so that's it so let's start from so we've got the mic um so on top of here we have our screens we have um, the usb ports uh, we want the mic to probably face the front right But this is anyway just two wires. We can always move it later. Then the mic needs a resistor. Spaces rotate. And you can see the nat, nat rest as well. Um, There we go to my capacitor. You see, you can push, it will push the components. That has to do with the rules we set up. Uh, we haven't set up any rules yet, but we will. I don't think we need such hectic um, capacitors, but anyway. So I like to go from left to right of my schematic. So I've got my mic, from my mic it's my resistor. From my resistor I've got my capacitor, then my potentiometer and pot, uh, then I've got my other capacitor. Um, but then this is the heart of the thing. So, so my part's actually going into my controller, my op amp. Put that there. And then it goes out with a gain.
as you can see my art control is not going anywhere so if we look here uh, once I put this to the microcontroller uh, that we don't have yet so I did the microcontroller here uh, we'll do that as well you can see all the ports so let's say I take a sheet uh, like we've done so place sheet double click on it to open the properties file name lesson T choose it and now let's try to create sheet from Ball. There we go. Um, it's not ideal, it's not very pretty. But just want to show you guys. So we're going to say, I want to take it to BB15. So let's just go through how the sheet actually works. So I've got my three volts that will come from my voltage regulator. I will go into the sheet. If I open the sheet, but uh, sheet, open sheet, which is this. So that three volts go there, give power to this circuit, and then I've got to output. It's important for the grounds to be the same. And this output will then go to this BB15, which is, yeah. So you can see how the ports are linking the pages together, which is quite cool. But now if I go file design update PCB. Oh, the silly rooms again. That didn't work. Uh, let's see why not. Maybe my SMT doesn't have a footprint. Yes. So because I, I went from KiCad, so I'm showing our manufacturing part. So let's search for STM32. Problem might be that my pinning is not the same now. That's fine. We'll do this again. You said it's drawn a bit different. But my main goal was to just show how they link each other. Where's BB15 on the other side? Come on. What is going on here? So you can see that when I try to rotate it, when I try to rotate it, it keeps going that direction. So I can never get it to point that way. To point that way, you push X, I think. Let's see. Or oh, X or L. Huh? Ah, it's because it's an input. No, what the hell?
That's strange. You want to flip it. Uh, X. Ah, there we go. So it automatically fixes it. So once you connect it, it fixes it. Uh, escape, escape. So what I wanted to show is just when you go tools, design update. Uh, yeah, so it added it with the footprint for it. Delete this. So there we can see we went from we went from a schematic we had we made a sheet for it uh, we had inputs and we outputs and we took that output into a new sheet and there you can see that the sheets are actually connected so my control my art is going to my so it's like PT for place track you'll see it's connected. I probably have my mic control in the middle. So I'll just root this to show you guys the basics of rooting in Altium. And then I'll probably call it a, a stream. I want to make some tutorials today uh, on KiCad and Altium. So please guys, if you have ideas of the tutorials you want me to do, myself or carry, then please say. Because it's quite long to get through some quick tips and stuff. This is basically just a nice chilled Sunday afternoon stream. Sunday morning, whatever. Cool, so to place a track, you push P for place. So place is quite a popular thing in Altium. Just put P and then see what happens. Place track. And then once you click on it, it will tell you where to go. So I need to go down here. The nice thing about Altium is if I already start routing, I can push tab and a property thing will come up. So then I can change uh, the width of the track, uh, some settings, not important, important now. Um, yeah. And I also think that you can So if I click with the layer and I go this way, I can just place a wire when you go through different levels. track wants me to go there to the grounds later just see it's very similar to our uh, keycad PC designs principles are used everywhere
So now we're going to do copper pour again. So place copper pour, I think. Polygon pour. So that's what they call it. So as last time, I like to have my top is 343, my bottom is ground. So you can see I've got no net called, so we can make it 3v3. So is the difference in plus 3v3 and what's going on here? Ah, uh, so it's actually plus 3v3. It's no problem. I'll make it plus. Just have to redo it. It's an update. I don't know why there's problems. Uh, we just had to report. So at the top here, you can push report when there's error. Uh, but so you can see it's very small gaps here. At the bottom here, are some layers. Uh, you can go. You can somewhere hide your polygon pores shelf. So it's. Polygon pause, shelf pause, we'll take it away. Then we can make the bottom one ground, place polygon pause. that we want bottom copper and we want ground and we can push repo what's the issue repo there we go and then you can shelve it and stuff but now to this is the top layer so we wanted to get the bottom layer so we're gonna put a buyer place buyer but let's first place fire the ground. We've got more ground. Oh, that's just not connected. Oh, we should just take this to the other side, right? Like that. And I think everything's connected now. Uh, that was not. Guys, I think that's all we needed for our imitation circuit. So 
So we'll have a mark there. And then as the mark we talk, we'll put on some LEDs with the mark controller. I hope that was helpful. Uh, next time we'll talk about some keep outs uh, because when you look at uh, this, where's my shelves? They have to keep reporting. Like, this is very small, this gap here. So, I want to talk about. Um, Rules, setting up rules to make sure that your copper is far enough from your tracks and things like that. Also, keep out border on the side of the, so this copper here on the side of the board is quite close. That's not allowed. So you normally have a keep out layer at the bottom here. Uh, keep out, keep out. Some of them must be a keep out. Place keep out, place keep out, and it has to be done on a keep out layer. If my memory serves me correct, but I'm up here. Maybe it's the edge cuts. Yeah, so we can just rename this to keep. Cool, guys. Um, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to make some videos um, explaining a bit more about this because on Sundays I just want to let us chat and if there's any questions we can do it in person but I'll make detailed videos about how the circuit works uh, while we chose it and just some tips and tricks about KiCad, Altium and any questions you guys have. Uh, hope you guys have a good Sunday, uh, be productive, have a good week until next Sunday. Uh, next week we we'll probably carry on with uh, Add the mic controller, all the components here. We've got the Cherry MX, and then I think we'll start slowly but surely come together. And then, yeah, maybe I should order the circuit by itself to test it. I'm going to build it and then we can test it. Thanks for joining, Andrew. Uh, guys, have a great day. I'm a bit tired today, I don't know. It's a lazy Sunday. Uh, whatever you're doing, enjoy it. Till next time, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please join our Discord channel below. Uh, that's where we chat, have fun. But besides that, cool, thanks. Bye.